Hello Sagittarius, welcome back to For Real Though Tarot. Today I will be doing your relationship reading. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified whenever I post a new video. Also check out my other playlist on Sagittarius or the other signs of your birth chart. If this reading does not resonate with you, let's get started. The cards have already been shuffled for you. We have the Seven of Swords. The Nine of Swords and the Four of Swords. Okay, so, so we have a lot of swords. Some of you clearly were messing with an air sign. Now, with the Seven of Swords, you may have been dealing with a, an Aquarius. This is a person that you couldn't trust, okay, because they are sneaky. This is a sneaking person. Sorry, sneaky person. This person puts you through a lot of mental manipulation. I'm also seeing for some of you, this person did a lot of fabricating their story. The Seven of Swords is a person that also makes up stories, okay? Your person always had a made up reason. Basically, your person already practiced what they were going to say to you whenever they got caught in their act. Then we have the Nine of Swords. Some of you may have been dealing with a Gemini. I'm seeing that you reached your breaking point with this person. You got tired of their lying and manipulation. Yeah, you reach your breaking point. You just feeling like, okay, I've had enough. They stress you out. This person stressed you out with the things that they do with the seven of swords person. And you said, okay, I'm done. Okay. You reach your breaking point. And we also have this four of swords card. Some of you may have been dealing with a Libra. So this person was causing you to have restless nights. Okay. And you couldn't sleep at night because you were up late nights thinking about this no good person, the way they like to lie and manipulate the situation. And you already know that if you take this person back, they're going to cheat on you again. This person with the seven of swords, okay? Yeah. You reach your breaking point. with this person yeah this person did a lot of games in mind my games that is with the manipulation they were master manipulators I'm seeing for some of you your person so let's pull some message cards Sagittarius Yeah, we have deceit with the seven of swords. This was a deceitful person. Cause see, this seven of swords card represents the deceit, lies, cheating, scheming, mental manipulation. red flags so some of you saw the red flags already with your person that's what had you stressing too because you already knew what your person was doing it had you stressing you saw the red flags you knew they were up to no good yeah you already knew that Sagittarius This was a constant battle with you and this person, up and down. You and your person's relationship. 
they constantly cheat it. Play a card. Yeah, this person was a player. So that just confirms the Seven of Swords card too. Look at that, we have the red flags. Also, it's the Nine of Swords while you are stressing. You already knew this person was no good. They were cheating. Four of Swords also as well. Yeah, they gave you all types of anxiety. This person caused you to reach a breaking point with them. You had enough of their games. Seesaw. Yeah, one minute relationship was good. Next minute it wasn't. Whenever they would start back. This person, I'm getting the feeling that this is a person that would promise to do better. That's why we have the seesaw card and they would do it again. This person, yeah, they were a player. This person wasn't ready to give up their player ways, Sagittarius. Yeah, you used to catch them. And this person would lie. They would make up a story, you know, about where they were when they were really with this other person. Yeah, the old, I was at my mom's house. I was at my cousin's house, you know. My cousin got sick or my cousin, you know, just all types of stories. We have codependency pulled up. Deception. Release your ex. Codependency. Deception. Release your ex. Now with this codependency card, there wasn't an equal give and take. And you put more into this relationship than your person. Okay? Your person did not because this person is a player. Okay? Pretty much a serial cheater. This is what your person does. Then fabricate stories they always have an answer for where they were okay which is not true because they're deceiving you the deception call also confirmed that the seven of swords okay someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship they're not being honest with you about what they're out there doing okay you already saw the red flags you know it you also know that if you take this person back, they're not going to change their play ways, Sagittarius. We have to release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So this card is telling you to release this person. You don't want their energy no longer affecting the way that you feel, okay? This person was stressing you out. It's time to clear this negative energy with this person. Release them. Yeah, they play too many games, Sagittarius. Too many games with you. Yeah, you don't have to tolerate this with this person. The cards are telling you it's okay to let them go. Some of you already let this person go now, okay? So this is your current relationship reading or past relationship reading some of you let this person go and others of you did not Sagittarius so what I have for you is that your person is a player you reach your breaking point you're tired of them cheating on you you're tired of them lying manipulating you playing games okay this person is causing you anxiety. Wrestle is nice. One minute the relationship is good. Next minute it's not. This is the seesaw of this person promising to do good. But they don't hold their end of the bargain, okay? They still go out there and creep and come back to you with 
a lie about where they were, okay? This is the fabricated stories, okay? That they made up in their heads just for you to get off their back about where they were. That's pretty much what is going on with this person. So, the release your ex card is telling you to get rid of this negative energy. This person is deceiving you. And you are putting more into the relationship, okay? And we have addictions that affect your romantic life. Your person's cheating addiction is affecting your relationship because they can't stay with one person, Sagittarius. So, that is all I have for you, Sagittarius. Thanks for listening. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell to be notified whenever I post a new video. Give this video a like by hitting a thumbs up. And check out my other playlist on Sagittarius or the other signs of your birth chart. And I'll see you next time. Bye now.